Pakistan looking strong in all departments, although the lack of a recognised fifth bowler could be a problem for them later in the tournament. As for the Dutch, well, their captain Steve Lubbers wasn't fit for selection, so Roland Lefebvre took over the reins of command. So Akram the bowler, the first ball, Clark the batsman. And he plays it out to mid-wicket. Some movement there. And that's going to find leg. They'll take the first run of the morning. One for no wicket. And that's up in the air, past the outstretched hand, second slip fielder, and it's down to third man for a single. Five for no wicket. Wasim and Waka. A tie in the air. Rashid Latif has called for it, and he's taken it. Pakistan have taken the first wicket. Holland are 16 for one. Nolan Clark's uh, disappointing World Cup continues. The veteran Barbadian has gone. And the first wicket's down. Trying to pull the ball, wasn't really short enough for that. Nolan Clark out for just four. Yes, as you see there, four runs out of, uh, of 27 deliveries. And I think that's what happens when Akib Javed comes on to bowl. Here he is. Ball going high in the air, Rashid Latif calling for it. Comfortable catch for the wicketkeeper. Holland, 16 for one. The new batsman for Holland, Tim Delader, coming in at number three. First slip, just the two close catches. Good shot. looking shot. That'll go all the way to the boundary. That was a beautiful shot and uh, perfectly timed. Makai Yunus uh, coming into their pack, getting some punishment there. And I think uh, the Pakistani crowd is enjoying this because uh, they know that uh, here we see Makai string a little bit on the onside. First boundary of the bat by the Dutch team. In the air and out. Taken at point. Pakistan strike again. Holland now are reeling. They're 28 for two. Another catch for Ijaz, this time at point. Straight to the field there. And there it is. Eh? Jubilant Wakai Yunus, happy with that. Peter Cantrell goes. Holland, 28 for two. Klaas Jan van Nordvik, the new batsman for Holland. Delayed on strike. Off the edge. Taken by Rashid Latif. Waka Yunis on fire here. Holland at 29 for three now. Good diving catch by Latif. And this is a heartening sight for all Pakistan supporters. Waka Yunis back on form. There it is. Good catch by Rashid Latif. And Waka Yunis, there he is. That's a very happy man. Tim Delader faced 18 balls, but didn't trouble the scorers. He's gone, call behind off Waka. Holland, 29 for three. Sri Lankan born, left-hander. We're doing good bounce here in Lahore. I think this is the quickest pitch we've seen so far in the competition. It's up in the air, and you, you could be out caught, and no, it's over the boundary line, is it? It's a six. He had the catch, and then he went over. A six has been given, so that's uh, interesting. Let's watch it again. Well, this is a... Uh, Fascinating piece of cricket. 
it's a brilliant catch in fact running backwards but the fielder knows his momentum is going to take him back over the line and so what he does is uh, throw the ball back into play and the point that Wasim Akram is making to umpire Francis is that the ball at no stage crossed the boundary rope there it goes into his hand now his momentum's taking it back he touches the rope and then throws it over so it's certainly a boundary four because the fielder was in touch with the rope and KT Francis the umpire has consulted Mr Sharma from India the third umpire and confirms that in fact it is six so on the full the player's foot goes onto the rope it's nothing to say that that board have gone on to hit the stumps and that swept well but brilliantly fielded by Ajaz who dropped a hand onto it it's running down to the final leg area Miadat feels just the single but very good feeling by Ajaz it's been an important fielding change by Pakistan and that was the googly but uh, well up to the batsman and he just gets one slips at the far end he could have got the second because there was some his fielding by Saeed Anwar there so that's the 50 50 for 3 for Holland 23.5 well we're very nearly halfway through the Dutch innings and they've only managed to post the 50 shows what hard work it's been for them that's a fine hit and it's going to be six or a four we'll have to wait for the signal it's six beautiful shot by Van Nordwijk for Nordvik taking his life in his hands that's a magnificent shot over mid wicket front foot planted down the pitch and hauled over the onside boundary and it is a big boundary here at the Gaddafi Stadium Mushtaq then to Ponzo it's up in the air there's a dive by the keeper have to wait for the replay because the way Rashid Latif went for it Mushtaq threw his hands up in the air that could have been an edge Rashid Latif's made an enormous amount of ground there about 10 yards despairing dive Fifth bowler. big outside edge running down the third man and it's going to be four runs Said Anwar can't cut it off over the boundary line it goes and some welcome runs for Holland. His staff here at the Gaddafi Stadium have done a magnificent job with this outfield. It's beautiful, lush green grass, but look at the speed the ball travels over it. Full toss here, whipped away on the onside. He's going to have to hurry upon though. A good throw may have had him stretching. And in the end, umpire Bracknor has signalled for the third umpire, so the crowd, immediately, the interest factor goes up. Mushtaq is pretty pleased with that. There it is, nice pick-up, one-handed, and a nice return too. He's not even in the frame at the moment. Uh, I think he's struggling. Pretty close. I think that's, that's going to be a tough one for the third umpire. It has to be the element of doubt there, Asif, as, as to exactly when the stumps Stump. are broken because the fielder, Sahail, on this occasion, he actually shields the stumps, so their doubt factor is there. That does go in the favour of the batsman, and we see the green light, but very tough call. And an edge just wide of Rashid Latif, and that beats Javed Neandad and goes for four. Well, first ball of Javed... Uh, second spell taking the outside edge and beating both the wicketkeeper as well as well here and as much as they do have seven overs and that's a fine shot for four they've got seven overs left and lots of wickets and so they just might get up round the 160 mark if they don't lose a, a collection of wickets quickly but what a beautiful stroke that was from, from Nordvake 
Class Jan van Nordvik crashing Akib through the covers. You won't see many better cricket shots than that. Once again, speeding across this Gaddafi Stadium out of point. That's up in the air. Who's calling for it? Covers coming in to take it. And an easy catch. Mushtaq Ahmed called loud and clear. He took the responsibility. He took the catch into the bargain. A good stand comes to an end between Aponto and Van Nordvik. Holland now 102 for four. And just exactly what they didn't want this early on because new batsmen coming in with Yunus and Akram to finish still. But that went up quite high and I like the way that Mushtaq said, that's okay, I'll catch this. Everybody else get out of the way and completed the job well. Good innings though, against the odds. 33 of 89 deliveries, 102 for four. He's a hard-hitting batsman. Scored 45 against New Zealand at Baroda. Straight through where first slip might have been. He wasn't, so it's another boundary for Aponzo. Akib Javed is not impressed. That's, that's one of the vagaries of playing limited overs cricket. If you don't have a slip in, which is a sensible thing to do at this stage of an innings, you just have to accept those situations with a shrug of the shoulders. Same again. Point well made, Bob. Maybe you should think about that. Either getting slip in there, which I think is going to happen, or he must bowl a different length. But that would have just been a lovely little catch, wouldn't it? Chest high. Slip has moved in now. Should be presented with good pitches. That's the 50. Might even be 51 if he looks to come back. No, he doesn't. He's going to savor the moment. What a wonderful moment that is. Very happy man. Comes into the game a little early. And he was in Kuzranwala. There he comes again. A bounce of the batsman. Bowled him. Clean bowl. And the fifth wicket is down for 130. And the crowd loves it. That's what this one from a fast bowler. And they've got it. Well, I think we talked about the Yorker. The in-swinging Yorker. One that's nice and full, prevents the batsman playing the big shots. You will not see a better example of the Yorker than this one here from Waka Yunus. Right on target. He's aiming to hit the base of leg stump, sneak under the bat, and look at that for accuracy. Leg stump goes cartwheeling back towards the wicketkeeper, and on his way back to the pavilion, Flavian Aponzo. Very handy knock for Holland today. But he's gone now, and they're 130 for five. Alfonso, who got 59, was bowled by Vakar. Leg stump going through the air. And that's his record. Play against some of the greats in the world. We see this perfect example of the Yorker again. Alfonso's on his way. You should dream about it as a schoolboy. About one day, perhaps being in the same arena or coming up against some of the great names in cricket. Most schoolboys don't think they're going to do it as a schoolboy. Much tougher than this. So Zadar into face. And that's up in the air and it's a fine shot over mid-off. It's going to be four runs. One, three, nine for five after 49. He's on 10. Bowled in, middle stump. No disgrace in this for Roland Lefebvre. He really did have to up the ante. Captain for the day. And he was looking for the boundary. Accuracy personified Waka Yunus. He saw him hit the base of leg stump to get rid of a Ponzo. Well, he's cartwheeled middle stump to get rid of Lefebvre for 10. And it's 143 for 6. Middle stump going backwards. And the joy on the face of the bowler. 
it's four for the day. And that's Kaucha who's come into bat, right-handed batsman, Eric Kaucha. That's how it's pronounced, although there's a G there. Our expert, uh, Robin Jackman, has passed on this pronunciation to us. So Kauka now facing Makar Yunus. They take a single, 144 for six, and Makar has one more delivery now to get his fifth wicket. Last delivery of a shortened run. Zuder and the batsman drives it into the covers. They go for one. Are they coming back for the second? Yes, they are. There comes the return. It's going to be close. There's an appeal. And the third umpire comes into question. So the innings ending on an interesting note. The third umpire to decide. A good bit of fielding here too from Sally Malik. A bounce throw in. Well taken by Rashid Latif. Baz Siderant is always struggling. He decided to come back for the second. And off go the bails. If in fact they are off, it's very hard to tell from this angle. And the third umpire will have to take that into account. So Baz Siderant sliding the bat, doing everything right from his point of view. From that angle, very hard for the umpire to give him out. He has the red lights on. He's confident that the bales came off. Malik, the thrower, we may get a better view of it from this angle if the... We'll see the ball bounce in there. He's well short at this point, Zyderant. Off go the bales, yes indeed. It's Sharma from India. The third umpire's made the correct decision. And Zyderant's on his way. Well, the Dutch were never able to get going in those 50 overs. Aponso batted a long time for his 58, but against the might of Wakar, Wazim and Mushtaq, it was always going to be hard going. And those Pakistani bowlers looked highly effective and it'll be interesting to see how they go against a proper batting side, if the Dutch will forgive me. I think uh, the total of 140 odd is uh, inadequate as far as the Pakistani batting is concerned. I think they'll be able to get these runs. And they'll also have uh, an eye on the run rate. They'll try and get these runs as quickly as possible. Here's Lo Roland Lefebvre with the first ball. Rolling to Amir, sir. Sahail on his way. That's away through mid-wicket. The crowd are cheering. That's the first Pakistan boundary. There it is, uh, Amir Sahail picking that length very quickly. It was slightly short of length. It wasn't all that short, but Amir was very quick in judging that uh, delivery from there it is, slightly short of limb, armor in good position and picking that movement. That's up in the air, and he's gone. Success for Holland. Amir Sahail is the man out. Caught at mid on. Pakistan 10 for one after five overs. Ball high in the air. Amayasa Hale departs. Nine for Amayasa Hale. Ten to score. The first wicket is down. Ijaz Ahmed, Pakistan's number three batsman. He won't be on strike. The batsman is Saeed Anwar facing. extra cover is racing away over this fast outfield the favorite can't stop that beautiful cover drive yes that was a beautiful shot nicely placed and the timing was immaculate there we'll see Said Anwar launching his stroke there talking about Armas Sohel missed out again and I think uh, it was World Cup that we are watching that's up in the air as well Lefebvre's after it. What a fantastic effort. The captain of the day setting the example. 
that was a brilliant effort and that was a silly shot as well they will say Said Anwar trying to hike him over mid off not really getting hold of it not getting to the pitch of the ball and what a magnificent effort that was had he taken that that would have been one of the best catches in, of one day cricket but I think it's unnecessary what the Pakistanis are trying to do because there's no reason for them Side and more on strike he's made uh, just six we're in the ninth over and uh, Pakistan won't be uh, content with the start they've made to this innings it's a very frenetic one that one's through mid wicket but there is a fielder out in the deep and it'll be just the single 26 front of the south african run rate We've got in front of the south african overall run rate that's, that's a good shot that's air. over the top four runs Over the head of Midan, Kircher, the fielder, who retrieves it from the boundary line. Let's watch it again. There it is. Over the head it goes. Well placed. Four outs. Have a bowling change. Janssen, the man who took the catch to get rid of Armin Sohail, now coming into bowl. Single out square leg. Said Anwar drives. It's a little uppish, but it's going to be four runs. Very firmly hit. Four more to Pakistan and four more to him. Punishment for over-pitching here. Janssen just bowling a long half volley outside the off-stump. The ball went in the air slightly because Said's right foot didn't go the whole way to it. As we see it again, you'll see the bat goes there. The right foot's anchored on leg stump, caused a little bit of overbalancing, but he certainly middled it and raced away for four. Janssen now to say it again. And that's a lovely shot. Could be a six. Yes, it is. Over long on, a magnificent shot which brings the crowd to their feet. The flags are waving. There they are. And they're all absolutely delighted. That's what they've come to see and that's what they've got. Saeed Anwar cutting loose now. And the change of bowling. Tim Delader coming on from the pavilion end. Or from the college end, rather. That's a big hit. Could be a six. And it is over the boundary line, over long off. What magnificent hitting by these two. And the crowd love it. Perfect cricket shot, certainly in the first 15 overs of an international one day game. He just hit straight through the line and it was six virtually as it left the middle of his bat. Beautiful stroke. Plays there down the third man. Ninety-three balls in fifty-two minutes. Plays it uppishly, but over the heads of the gully fielder there, and it's gone for four over the third man boundary. And that's the fifty partnership. It went high over Cantrell's head, but it's, the impression I got was that he didn't see it as it left the bat. Not that it would have helped him, because it was too high. He seemed to be going in the wrong direction. But a good partnership from these two. The ball drifting away. He had very little control over it when he hit. And just dabbed away by Ejaz, using the pace of the ball and angling it away down towards third net already created the world record 
of participating in all the six World Cups and also took the very first catch of the innings when Pakistan played the first match against UAE. That's a beautiful shot from Saeed Anwar. He's hit that on the up. He's wide of off stump. He beat the man at cover and it raced away for four. That was a magnificent shot. He waited for it and then played it to perfection. There the Pakistani supporters sharing this shot which uh, on the up um, Saeed Anwar playing away from his body. I think Roland Lefebvre, the stand-in captain today for Holland, has spotted that uh, they're struggling to get some timing. The captain is trying to capitalise on that and see if he can... Well, there's no trouble with the timing there for Ejaz and the placement very good as well. Raced away for four. That's right. And the delight of the Pakistan crowd. Ejaz has picked up that ball with a well-timed and well-placed. No cut. No chance of anything with the cutting back. Nice batsman, top order players. Boy, it gives monkey work then. Pakistan will be in good shape. Down the wicket and over the top of cover. Will it carry all the way? Just one bounce for. Good use of the feet there from Saeed Anwar, and that's 50. Yeah, that was a magnificent shot because coming down to a spinner and then placing that shot, you need adjustment, which he did. And uh, one bounce over the fence. That's his 50. The crowd is delighted with that performance. But uh, there he is, Amir Sahel. Uh, Saeed Anwar, we'll see the shot. There he is, waiting for the ball and then going through the shot, making sure that the placement is there. Bicep fingers, two fingers on the band line, one at long off and one widish uh, mid off. That shot also brought up the Pakistan 100. And again through the onside this time and how's the placement on this occasion? A good contest, but the ball wins the race. Four more to Saeed Anwar and Pakistan through now to 104 for one after 25. So Zaman al Haq, Salim Malik, Javed Nandad, then the all-rounders, Wazam Akram, Rashid Latif. Plenty of batting there for Pakistan. These two at the wicket. Ijaz Ahmed on strike. Saeed Anwar, and happy to do it themselves. Cantrell, the bowler. Down the wicket this time, Ijaz. Will it carry all the way? There's a man underneath it, and he's gone. So Ijaz Ahmed, the right-hander, using his feet, coming down to Pete Cantrell, trying to lift it over long on. But the timing wasn't there, and in the end, comfortable catch in the deep. And breakthrough for Holland. Yes, and I'm sure he's not happy with that shot of his. There it is, coming to the bottom of the bat. Picking up the field there, he didn't have to move much. And a good, well just catch. So Ijaz Ahmed is on his way for 39. And Pakistan 100. And with him, Robin Jackman. Thank you, Ian, and the track record of this man is outstanding, averaging over 40, 400, 100 appearances. No doubt about him, which we'll go into in a minute. Here's the wicket. Ijaz looking for the big one down the ground and caught at long on. So it won't be long before Inzaman takes strike. One more look took the man on on the boundary but didn't get quite enough sweet spot of the bat on it nicely caught by the captain of the day the fervor this field they get through for the single if you would like a little bit of a knockout there before Pakistan take on South Africa in a few days time and well and in the team and getting on with it straight away. What a magnificent hit. Yes, no, fine. That's what the crowd demanded. They were chanting sixer, sixer. And Inzamam obliges. A couple of strides down the pitch. Magnificent follow through. That's cleared the boundary rope by fully 25 yards.
five deliveries. Here we go again. Yeah, six more. Difficult for long off. He didn't quite know whether it was going or not to control the fielder. This crowd just loving it. That's what they've come to see. Peter Cantrell down there on the long off boundary. Even if he'd been right back on the road, the ball would still have cleared him. Not a, it's quite a cleaner strike as in demands. I think there's a case, Robin, for Holland to uh, rethink their strategy when they uh, bowl in future matches. The Fever and Backer are experienced county performers in first-class cricket in England, and I think they've got to bowl when the pressure's on. This is Kentrell. It's beautifully played by him. I'm just showing that he can got to run a bit for the third because he certainly ambled the first two well the first ball from the new bowler for Holland and I'm sure each day that they play cricket in this tournament they're learning something and a frightened Saheed through to 151 an eight wicket victory pretty emphatic and as expected I think it's fair to say another cool efficient performance from Pakistan 145 was never going to be enough and although Sohail failed again Ijaz and Saeed made no mistake and Imzaman enjoyed himself at the death as for the Dutch bowling well, it was a bit like a pea shooter trying to stop a tank and their big game really is on Friday against the UAE.